jam. Toon jam. Hello and welcome to Toon Jam. I am Matt. And I'm Jay, man. And today we are, uh, I suppose in a way, revisiting the show. Yeah. But it's a new show at the same time. It's Rugrats. I'm sure we all know Rugrats. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a long-time listener of the show, we've covered Rugrats before. Um, but the original, the original version, whereas this, this was out a few days ago. Ooh. This is brand new, 2021. Um, so let me tell you a bit about it. I won't go too too much detail, but because um, obviously we've done it before, you can find all our old episodes over on YouTube. Um, but Rugrats is an American, um, and this time a computer animated, kids streaming television series uh, created by Arlene Klasky, uh, Gabor Supo, and Paul Germain. It is described as both a revival and a reboot of the original 1991 series of the same name. The series premiered on May 27th, 2021 on Paramount Plus as the second Nickelodeon CGI animated web series uh, created for the streaming service. Uh, just like the original series, Rugrats focuses on the experiences of the courageous, adventurous one-year-old baby named Tommy Pickles and his group of playmates and other infants and toddlers. Um, so there you go. That's your information. Um, a little bit about the voice cast before we go into, uh, you know, a bit more. The surviving voice actors of the titular Rugrats reprise their roles from the original series, uh, though the adult roles from the original series have been recast, including Betty DeVille, who was originally voiced by the returning Kath Susie. So we have some of the same voices and some new voices. Uh, so we've got essentially something old and something new, some sort of weird middle ground um, that mm. I don't think we've really had before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think the closest thing I can think of, I mean, I don't know how many reboots we've covered, really. I know we're always saying how there's reboots of everything. But the only one I can think of is DuckTales. Mm. But DuckTales is very much a reboot. Yeah. Whereas this doesn't feel like too much of a reboot, but it clearly is. Mm. It's more like a modernisation. Yeah. So they've changed certain things, but kept certain things. So before we go too much into it, um, I mean, we, we've both seen the old Rugrats. Like I say, we've talked about it. Um, so obviously we had an idea of what Rugrats was mm -hmm. uh, before we went into this. Um, had you seen much about the new series, though? Um, I just saw that it was on its way out and people were getting somewhat excited. I think I saw like a screenshot of it or something like that. And that, that was about it, really. Yeah. So had you, had you seen the, the trailer before? No, no, I hadn't watched the trailer. See, I'd seen the trailer. I didn't know how to feel, uh, to be honest. Mm. Um, obviously, I understand the the whole reboot mentality. Mm. You know, you've got to keep, if you want to keep things going, you've got to change them. So the CG stuff, obviously it's different. It kind of puts a spin on it, but it, I didn't know if it if I liked it as much. Mm. But uh, we'll, we'll talk a bit more about that in a bit. What did what did Twitter have to say? Well, uh, Twitter uh, generally is not particularly happy with the Rugrats. Interesting. Yeah, um, we've got a handful of quotes here. So uh, start with uh, 1ENG, who says, The thing I hated about older Rugrats was that it looked like it was made by humans. This new AI-generated textualist art style is great. Now, if they can replace all the voice actors with that AI TikTok voice, we might have something actually watchable here. Wow. Um, so I think uh, that may be somewhat sarcastic. Yes, I think <laughs> that sounded quite sarcastic indeed. Hard to tell in text a lot of the time, <laughs> but... <laughs> so not a fan of the If animation. you reverse all of their points, um, they're quite unhappy with the way that uh, it's been portrayed. Uh, that's just one. So we've got uh, Seven of Nyan as well, who says, uh, fell asleep watching the new Rugrats and woke up in a terrible mood. I can only assume it's because I watched the new Rugrats. Well, did you watch it? Well, I that, don't know. 
I mean, if you if you slept, maybe it was only for a very small portion. It's quite a long episode, the first one. Yeah, it is actually. So yeah, fair it's quite enough. Long. Actually, yeah. Exactly. It's, um, but it's there you go. Long. So, I mean, whether that's because you were tired or because you were bored, mm. I'm not sure. But yeah, jury's still out on that one. That's yeah. <laughs> But that sounds that. sounds like another negative comment about Rugrats. Yeah, it does sound negative. We've got a good for Luke, who says the new Rugrats are traumatizing to look at. Oh, so yeah, that's quite... pretty, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Mm. Yeah, okay. uh, not a fan. And we've got uh, R Wyatt Duncan, who says new Rugrats is really me, really making me miss that old classy Supo star animation in the nineties. Whatever happened? To big mainstream cartoon characters looking like disgusting little goblins. Everything's got to be slick and cute these days. <laughs> that's that's, that's another one. I feel like I don't know where they actually stand on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> disgusting little goblins is a weird way to describe <laughs> <laughs> the old style. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, they are supposed to be little kids as well, so it's probably not the best, you know. If that's what they were going for initially, classic super, then I mean, I don't, I don't know whether they really yeah. landed on that. But, but you know yeah. what? There is, there is something to be said in what they just said. Like, mm -hmm. there is a lot of clean animation nowadays, probably mm -hmm. because of CG. Yeah. Um, whereas the 90s was, I mean, specifically classic super. Yeah. It was like... You know, Everything was kind of yeah janky and weird and yeah and yeah. It, it had its own style to it mm. yeah and I mean yeah you don't really see that sort of variance in CG stuff maybe maybe because you know it's maybe it's harder to make stuff look sort of stylized in that way without yeah. actually looking horrendous in CG but then <laughs> we've watched a few things and maybe personally as well sort of recently mm. where they the, the, it feels like they're starting to make more strides uh, mm. you know things like the spider verse and yeah. uh what's the what's the new one um mitchell's versus the machines yeah i don't know if you've seen that but that's got it's obviously it's the same people yeah. as, um but they've got their own you know style to them mm. um, yeah yeah even, um the uh the burger one we watched big top burger big top burger yeah yeah you know, so yeah, I think that is something that, that is sort of starting to come through now, now that there's, you know, we've had more time with CG, where yeah. before it was trying to sort of replicate something else, you know, it, like in films, it's just trying to be photo real. And then in cartoons, yeah. it's just trying to like make things a lot of the time, it's just trying to make movement look fluid or something like yeah. that. Whereas now, yeah, we, people have sat down, we've got different creators on board and you get, you're starting to actually get different styles come across, which is cool. So, you know, may, maybe we'll get like a, you know, 20 years from now, there'll be like Rugrats that looks like old Rugrats, but is CG, like, you know, maybe. Yeah. But maybe. then that, that being said, I don't, it doesn't, you can tell it's the same style. I do think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they did a pretty decent job. Yeah. Um, any any more tweets? Anyway? Yeah, we've still got uh, in Insouciant King, uh, who says uh, CGI Rugrats looks like a terrible PS2 game cutscene. Oh, so, what, was the, what was the original Rugrats game on? Was that PS1? Yeah, PS1, I believe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Yeah, if you go back and look at it now, <laughs> I've actually seen, if you, you don't you don't have to look scroll through much of Twitter to see people posting pictures of that in yeah. comparison to the new one. Uh, yeah, it looks really bad. Uh, yeah. Lots of, you know, lots of shapes that should be round that aren't. Um, so, you know, we've come a long way. <laughs> yeah, yeah so maybe, maybe there's a certain amount of, like, you know, I I mean, who's not? I don't know the age of any of these uh, people that have tweeted or whatnot. <laughs> maybe they've played it loads, but maybe they haven't. Maybe they haven't, uh, you know, maybe they haven't had to deal with that as, as young people. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> Never witnessed the original terror of a PS3. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, so, you know. Tommy Pickles in four polygons, yeah. Yeah, um. they expect more from their CG, whereas... You know, I, again, I don't, I, I'm not assuming any ages here, but, you know, I do feel like we perhaps have a lower threshold mm. for uh, CG. Yeah. Um, we and, 
Finally, we've got a uh, feline lover one, two, three, four, who says the hashtag Rugrats reboot is cute, a sweet natured return for Tommy Pickles and the rest of his friends and should be a good chance for a new generation of younger viewers to fall in love with the characters as well. So, so, th so we've got one nice comment about it. One in six. <laughs> OK. <laughs> interesting and, that, and i mean that was hard to find that one yeah I, I can't say that that's the average on twitter because that was you know that was a hunch yeah, yeah. for that positive feedback so on the whole i'd say uh not necessarily well received for regrets yeah. reboot yeah interesting um well i'm just looking at the rating on imdb yeah. just out of curiosity obviously it's still early days so this rating will change maybe even by the time you've listened to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the moment, there are 179 ratings uh, on IMDb, and the overall rating is 4.3 out of 10, mm. which is pretty low. Yeah, not great. Yeah, it's considering like an, a, like an average good quality thing, I'd say is about seven. Mm. Somewhere around that. That's what you, you know, a sort of standard. And then high, high quality, about nine. Yeah. Um, after, I mean, you know, there's no, there's there's no consensus yet on Rotten Tomatoes, so we're yet to see a hundred percent. Yeah, to find out whether it's a hundred percent or not. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know with Rotten yeah. Tomatoes. So yeah, it, pretty interesting stuff. Mm. Um, okay, well let's let's dig in then um, on our own thoughts. Let's 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 address the the big thing first. Then um, the CG. Yeah. Did did the game. Did the game help us or just did it not? What what did you think of the CG? I thought I thought um, I mean, overall, I think it still looks I think they've done a decent job of sort of recreating the, the look of things like there's there's certain elements like bits of hair and stuff that's, that sort of look, you know, odd, like not everything's like super slick CG. I mean, I think yeah. the, the worst thing I think is Tommy talking. Like his mouth seems to be a bit weird sometimes. Yeah. But other than that, I don't really, I didn't really have any issue with it. And I think also they, they seem to have done something with like the frame rate maybe. So it sort of on purpose looks like it's a bit clunkier than it actually is. Yeah. Um, um, and I mean, with without you know putting like wonky lines around the edge of everything, I, I think they did a pretty good you know version of what that might look like in. Uh, in 3D, person, yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was all right, and and you definitely get used to it throughout the 45 minute long episode as well. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I think at first I was very much like, I was already. I'd seen the trailer and was a bit like, I don't know, I don't know if I like it or not. Like, like on a first look at a picture, I was like, yeah, that looks cool. Mm. When you, there's the odd thing that just looks like. You know, when you just see things like the grass and little background things that look a mm. bit poor quality yeah like they remind me of an older cg show yeah um but then as it goes on you kind of start to see some of the stuff like some of the stuff really is good quality you know just like things like chucky's glasses and mm. like the clothes and and then i think a lot of it is getting used to the fact that it is it's a revival reboot which is yeah. not exactly the same as a reboot where mm. it's kind of like the same thing exactly yeah. except for they've changed odd little bits to fit with the times which is mm. what Rugrats needs to do that's it because that's what it's about isn't it and this yeah. is what I'd say most Nickelodeon cartoons of the 90s that was something they tended to play off mm. um, well, I say most but there's a few like I'm thinking this I'm thinking Rocco's Modern Life yeah um were things that were very based on like like how you, how the 90s were like the yeah. modern life of that time yeah yeah and this is the same like why make more um like why make 90s babies yeah. anecdotes when we're not in the 90s mm. you know it's 30 years ago that's it so they've got to remake it and then if it looked exactly the same as it did mm you kind of not understand it and i think almost this, the choice of the cg mm. helps you accept the fact that it is a new show 
yeah yeah i think it's just because that's the thing is like there's there's the constant argument of like why is everything cg because it's not like it's not like 2d animation is inferior in any way you know yeah. like they they could easily have probably done it and made it look exactly the same as the nice yeah. one but but like you said would would that confuse things you know once you you're yeah, watching, it was you already... watching a Rugrats episode and someone whips out an iphone or something and you're like wait i thought this was made in the nice yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, and, and the, you know, characters are slightly different. Obviously, some of the voices have changed, mm -hmm. um, and, it, and it's a bit jarring because you you have an idea of what you're going into, and and I can't imagine you know we're the only people that liked Rugrats and wanted to see Rugrats again. Yeah. So watched it, and then it was like, this is not my Rugrats, but yeah. at the same time, yeah, it isn't. It isn't your Rugrats. It's new, no. but it it is as well. It should be. Like the idea is that you know you're no longer closer to the age of the babies you're now the adults yeah so if you're watching, it, like, you, like you're you're you've got a new reference point to deal with oh yeah 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 if you think 91 so we were like you know the kids age when there was, yeah. <laughs> when it was like, actually yeah. we were like maybe like like same ages yeah i mean and, i remember when I, was, I think so yeah she's three little toddlers and then obviously it was on for a while wasn't it so mm. we were kids but yeah. we were closer to their age than we ever were the parents so oh yeah definitely and now now it's not the same yeah so yeah so it's there should be a divide there like something should have happened like you know i mean i think this is a perpetual state of mind for a lot of people like if you're still living in the world 30 years ago <laughs> yeah like you need to make some decisions you know the, you need to uh need to adjust because the world itself isn't the same anymore so yeah. maybe rugrats shouldn't be the same i know exactly. we're probably going to get some angry tweets mm. but um it's, it's <laughs> yeah but you know i mean i'm, I'm happy <laughs> I'll, to uh... i'll take the angry tweets over this because i do think there's a certain amount of things where particularly you know our generation mm. because a lot of their stuff is being rebooted yeah they get mardy about it when it's not the same mm. and it's a bit and, and it's a bit like chill out like yeah you know you're not a kid anymore stop well, trying yeah, to be i mean it's just that no one will be happy with it because i saw you know in addition to all the people that are upset about all the stuff they've changed there was people on there who were like why bother rebooting if it's exactly the same you know yeah. like you just can't please everyone at the end yeah of it. yeah and i mean you know really they're making it the, the people who are making it aren't really making it for you know the, the people our age really essentially I, guess. Well, I, don't, I, I assume I feel that like they in a way that they are um and i think this is a lot of the thing is like you when you're watching it at our age you you got to start thinking more that the, the whole reason like rugrats can be remade is because it's like it's it's, it's a parody of modern times so now we're we're the parents, and you now have to look at it like, oh yeah, that's the kind of thing you know. I I've been through. I can see, you yeah. know. I I know that like like grandpa. That's one thing. He's completely different now. Yeah. He's more of a, like, but it's another parody on the modern age. Um, there's a lot of a lot, a lot of references to like like Phil and Nils' mom's gay. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure we talked about in the last one we did yeah whether whether she was or not we didn't yeah and, and then everyone it. was like yeah no she wasn't actually and then it's yeah. like oh we must have just half remembered something <laughs> yeah but here we are yeah clearly we weren't that far off it's official yeah i think it was just Im heavily implied wasn't it yeah yeah um and, and i think the stuff like that it's just made it more modern so why not why not like this is to me if you're going to do a reboot, this is exactly the kind of thing you should be doing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This is what a reboot is for. Yeah, I, I think the thing is now, though, that like, you know, maybe they're assuming that, the, the you know, when somebody turns on Rugrats 2021, you know, a lot of them are probably parents turning it on for a kid. And they yeah. might see the odd joke every now and then or whatever, not necessarily sitting down to like, watch yeah, it yeah. while they wait for their mum to come home from school or whatever yeah. like it's it's not necessarily the same scenario as, as it was the, <laughs> like 30 years ago but i think i mean they still do have you know there's still adult jokes in there isn't there which yeah, they yeah. always had um so i mean there's still obviously they they know there's going to be older people watching 
um yeah like, like what was it in in this one like grandpa was talking about because he's got like a dating app or something <laughs> you're talking yeah, about uh, <laughs> every time he looks at it there's grandma's tending their tomatoes or something yeah and then there was that joke he had when he, he said something about the last time he was so like, like the last was, time he was so uh, hung over basically yeah he didn't, he, not well or something was when he, he took a turn after some bad shiitakes yeah yeah which is definitely i mean that's just drugs yeah that's a drugs joke yeah because he's clearly you know that type he's like hippie granddad yeah yeah so it's still got that humor in it mm. um and it still feels very much like what the rugrats was yeah and f- from the from the kids perspective then like do you, do you think it it keeps like how th- how close do you think it is to like you know the adventures that they had in in the original series? Yeah, I mean, I think perhaps the first episode is, you know, it's longer, isn't it? So, mm. like I say, it's forty forty five ish minutes. Mm. So obviously, it's a lot longer than the older ones. We're over quite quick, but it has it has all the elements of the originals. You know, you've got the the imaginary bit at the start. Mm-hmm. You've got sort of angelica winding them up scaring chucky beyond belief he thinks he's going to turn into a worm because he ate half a worm <laughs> i mean the characters are pretty much bang on what they were especially yeah. the kids like obviously mm. like i say the adults have changed a little bit some of them um but they're not too dissimilar it's only really the grandpa that's changed i think yeah like, massively um but yeah I, I felt like it still had the same heart the same sort of feel as the original Rugrats. Mm. I think the, the most jarring part and the bit that was took some getting used to was the CG. Mm. But I didn't I didn't dislike it by the end. Yeah. Um, yeah I, you? I mean did you did you get on with it? Yeah, yeah. I mean I'd like as I was watching I was thinking like, oh yeah, this like you know, I was still trying to sort of look at things that they did like like you say, you're just like, oh that I mean that looks pretty cool and this this like I like the way they've done that. And I think overall I was I was happy with, with how it looked and like, even though you say like some of the stuff looked like kind of low quality or whatever, I can't help but feel like they did a lot of that stuff on purpose. Yeah, yeah. For, um like there's a load of textures and stuff that they use that's like it's like sort of really like low because <laughs> you think like oh you know that's really close to the camera like surely you'd, you'd make sure that that looked really good but that it just doesn't <laughs> it's just yeah. like a noise texture or something like, <laughs> like oh, okay cool but it's like it, it sort of keeps with the the you know the almost the the art style of the original one in a way by making it look a bit wonky and stuff um and as far as story goes like it, it felt like I was watching, you know, a Rugrats movie or something, you know, because it was a bit longer. Um, but it still it still had all that. It's like it felt like um, it it formulated as, as an old episode would, you know. Yeah, like you say, yeah, Chucky gets afraid. Tommy tries yeah. to, you know, help him out. Angelica makes every situation worse. Um, and then everything goes a bit wild from there. Um, and, yeah, I it, it was... It wasn't long until I was pretty settled in, you know. It was like yeah, ten minutes. Yeah. Got used to CGI. Got used to, you know, who's like, which voices have changed, <laughs> which haven't, yeah, and stuff. And then it was pretty much I was just in for the ride, sort of thing. So, yeah, I think it was pretty cozy. If you if you're happy to take on, you know, those few changes, um, I think if if you enjoyed Rugrats for, you know, for what it was, you know, on, on in the story respect and how they deal with, you know. Which is just like a weird show, really, when you think about it, that it's just like toddlers. toddlers yeah, problems. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like then, you know, it's it, I think it's still there. Like it's still all intact. Well, I think it is it is a show about family as well, isn't it? Because it's mm-hmm. obviously you've got the storylines with the parents, the grandpa, the dog even. Yeah, yeah. It's just like that. It's like a young family type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think like the bigger it was like I I found it pretty funny as well yeah like it still yeah. made me laugh and as much as when like when we watched the old one it felt you know just as funny and you know the whole stuff about the you know it's just hilarious like even like so chucky to sort of you know spoiler alert to to cure his wormy oleosis mm. which means he's turned into a worm because he's eating half a worm uh, he needs a dinosaur tooth 
mm. um, and to make a wish. Yeah. You'll understand it more if, when you go through it. I don't want to go into too much detail, but just things like when he made the wish, mm. he was like, I wish that I did not have wormioliosis and I would not turn into a worm and I would still be with my friends and be able to hug my dad. Um, thank you. The end. <laughs> And it's just like, I don't know why that's so funny, but that is hilarious that he just ended his wish with the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's still got all the little quirks of Rugrats, like the way that they mispronounce like every other word yeah. is like wrong. <laughs> yeah. And that's, I think a lot of it just feels like it comes from a place that's real. Mm. You know, like people that, you can tell it's written by people that have kids. Yeah. And it all feels like genuine stories and those little bits of it still are still there. And like like it said in the tweet, you know, it still has a lot of heart. Yeah. Which is, you know, what Rugrats had in the first place. I think that's why people like it so much. Yeah, and there's, you know, there's still a lot of adventure in there as well and a lot of, you know, imagination. Like, you know, they there's like the scene where they, they walk into the cafe um, and Phil and Nella playing with mud and then they manage to convert the game into like pirate cafe or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Slapping mud all over their face. <laughs> just like, you just probably wouldn't really think to do that. <laughs> it's just kids, so they just do like silly yeah. kid stuff. Like, it's still it's still got all that stuff in there. Like, I think maybe that's that's kind of what's, what's cool about, you know, being an adult now is like, you may have lost some of that in growing up, like just how kids manage to sort of innovate on the fly. You yeah, know, because everything can just be anything. Um, you know, it's cool to see that again and be like, oh yeah, that's that's probably how they do that actually. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Like, that's how you have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> right. Okay. Well, on that sad note, um, shall we go over to our reviews? Yes. Hi, lucky listeners. It's me. Alistair Smythe, seller extraordinaire and businessman tycoon. And today I'm here to talk to you about the Toon Jam shop. That's right, a shop full of Toon Jam products over at bit.ly forward slash Toon Jam shop. Mr. Smythe, I really like listening to all the funny bits in the middle. <laughs> I don't suppose you have uh, merchandise specific for the jokes that I have heard previously on previous episodes at all, do you? Not only do we have them, but we have lots of them. That's right, t-shirts with different jokes from different episodes. Loads of different jokes. Jokes that you can remember, jokes that you can't remember. We've got them on t-shirts. And not only that, one of them even has my face on it, talking about my mullet. That's right, Alistair Smythe on your t-shirt not only can you wear it you should dear mr smythe i love camping and i love mugs i don't suppose you have a camping mug on the side preferably in stainless steel with the logo on it that i might like and find familiar you sir are in luck that's right we have a toon jam camping mug made of stainless steel just just as you prefer. It will keep your drink hot. It will be nice to drink out of. But be careful because metal does get very hot straight away. So it can be a little bit too hot on the first sip. But by the second time, you'll be enjoying your hot beverage on your campsite. Delicious. Dear Mr. Smythe, I purchased a stainless steel mug that you had aforementioned. And now I have spilled the contents of my mug. I don't suppose you have some sort of tea towel on there with a logo on it that I may find familiar and enjoy. Once again, you've hit the nail on the head in exactly what we have on the store. A Toon Jam tea towel. That's right. A tea towel with our logo right on the front of it. Perfect for cleaning up and wiping yourself down. And while you're at it, why not get yourself a hoodie? That's right. A hoodie to cover yourself where you still look messy from the coffee spill. And the hoodie has our logo on as well. And of course has a hood for when it might rain lightly. And you can put the hood up and it will protect your hair from a small slight drizzle. That's right. Over at the Toon Jam shop we have all sorts. Bit.ly forward slash Toon Jam shop. OK, so here at Toon Jam, we have a three point rating system that goes as follows. Uh, thumbs up 
it's uh, Pirate Mud Cafe. Uh, thumbs down, I'm afraid to tell you, you have wormy oleosis. And Shaky Middle, that turn you took a while back after some bad shiitakes. So, good, bad, uh, questionable. Shaky Middle. So, okay, uh, Rugrats 2021, the brand new series. Your thoughts? Yeah, for me, um, I found uh, the the look of it fairly pleasing. Um, I mean, you know, there's there's some bits that are like off, like I said before, like Tommy does look a bit strange sometimes, because mm -hmm. I mean, you know, he is just like a little weird ball of a child. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's on the whole, I think they did it. Like I said, I think they did a decent job of trying to sort of make it kind of look like Rugrats, but also in three dimensions. And I imagine that job was pretty fun, to be honest. Like quite <laughs> jealous of those guys that got to sit down and just be like, right, well, we're going to do this uh, today. We're modelling uh, Tommy Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, see. Um, but yeah, um, so it, it looks decent. Yeah, I think you get used to it. Um, and as far as like the actual content goes. Like, I can't help but feel it was Rugrats, you know, like, yeah, it's got some some modern stuff to it. It's it's updated. It's some things have changed a little, but it felt like, you know, toddlers trying to adjust to the world, um, you know, get used to things that they've just encountered, like bizarre diseases that they've just gotten from eating half of a bug that they probably shouldn't have eaten in the first place, you know, trying to overcome fear in strange ways. Um, and, you know, it's got all the excitement of, you know, <laughs> flying down the street at like however many miles an hour in a kid's car which I thought <laughs> looked really fun anyway like I've always thought that would would be quite cool but you know it was always too big to fit in one of those so <laughs> you know maybe that's a bucket list item for me to put personally aside um but yeah I think uh story is good uh it looks great um you know there's so much there that's familiar um, I mean, you know, most of the voices are still the same and stuff, which can't be said for a lot of remakes and reboots and stuff. Sometimes, you know, the characters and stuff have changed so much. It's like, why even bother? Uh, but with this, it's I think it's quite nice. Like, I think, you know, the, the semi reboot is is quite comfortable. Um, and although it was quite, you know, lengthy as, a, as an episode and felt more like a movie, you know, I, I'd you know, I wouldn't be upset by having to to watch more of it like it was you know it did did mm -hmm. take me back did take me back i mean i think the opening titles alone will take some people give yeah. some people you know, <laughs> a, a nice boost of nostalgia if that's what they need um so for me yeah i don't think there was really anything that that was you know bad about it in, in all honesty so for me it's going to be a thumbs up for programs oh, nice. uh, there you go so already um you are uh, on you are part of the one in six on Twitter. <laughs> one in six, yes, <laughs> at the very most. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I uh, I agree. Like it, it feels like Rugrats. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not against reboots because I know it's there's so many of them. But then some of the best properties have been around for you know forever. Um, and they've just not been considered reboots because they just keep going. And I think this is like a, a good example. This is like when when you do it right, I think it's all about modernising it whilst keeping what people like about it in a way. Yeah. Um, obviously, the CG animation is clearly against what a lot of people seem to like about it. But I think it still has that same art style. He still has the familiarity and it's almost like the animation itself is a metaphor for what the show is, mm -hmm. which I think is quite cool. And I think it does need it. I think you like the only way to change it otherwise would be to change the style, which I think, you know, is part of what Rugrats is. So they, they did the right thing. And I think, you know, the things that you probably don't like about it will sort of change as it goes on, as they often do with these things. It was like 40 odd minutes. It didn't feel like that at all. Like no. once I started watching it, it it flew by and I would definitely watch more. And it would be it's this. I mean, it's sort of the perfect balance, uh, as we I think we said with the last one as well. Like it's a show for kids with the jokes for the parents mm. that aren't, you know, 
like this like we watched Ren and Stimpy there was times when we were like that is almost you wonder how they got away with it because it's almost too obvious mm. whereas these are sly comments that you know when he says like the, the I mean the, the only example in this one of, sort of a joke that was like oh that's probably a bit too uh, that's a bit risque was the shiitake joke mm. but you could it could literally just be he was food, he had a bit of food poison mm. you you could just say that you can get away with it easier um and i think stuff like that is that's you know it, it, it's a hard line to walk almost and they've done it really well again um only one episode but i would happily watch more and i think it i do think it has everything you know that the old one had um just in a slightly different way mm. so yeah i'm a thumbs up as well oh. two thumbs up so there you go Add two in that. six what so that's, that's... yeah the math just doesn't check out <laughs> <laughs> well there must be 10 people out there that have just said thumbs down yeah it's my only is my only thought but yeah um i'd say you know if you're gonna go in and watch it just sort of reel back on you know that idea that it's like oh it's not mine it's not the c the cgs just doesn't work or whatever and just give it a chance uh let your walls down and give it a go because i think it's it's the same thing you know it's it's still rugrats so what's not to like um but maybe maybe you absolutely don't agree with me maybe you think that we are a pair of buffoons that yeah. just don't know what we're on about that's fine uh, we're not always right but you can let us know you can get in touch with us on the three shiitake mushrooms of the internet uh, facebook instagram and twitter which i think is a bit of an insult because i do quite like shiitake mushrooms um, but you get what i mean uh, at toon jam pod and you can also uh, get some bonus episodes over on our patreon which is uh, patreon.com forward slash toon jam pod and of course you can visit our store which is bit.ly forward slash toon jam shop and as as you heard before we've got sort of t-shirts mugs uh, and all sorts on there so check check that out if, if you're interested otherwise uh, thank you for listening uh it's been a blast as always and we'll be back again next week with more more tunes for you until then though you stay jammy hey everyone thank you for listening if you want to help the show keep going you can be extra jammy by heading over to our patreon page at patreon.com slash toonjampod here you can get a shout out on the show or unlock bonus episodes. Ratings and reviews anywhere you listen to the podcast also really help us out. So thank you and stay jammy.